everyone my name is Elvin Dekar and uh, uh, welcome to this uh, video presentation I am pursuing web designing from McMaster University and I'm looking uh, to start my career uh, in IT as a web designer and uh, provide my clients uh, a user-friendly and robust websites um, in one of the uh, module in in the certification course from McMaster, uh, we got an opportunity to um, work on a web, uh, Frightful site that requires a complete redesign. So I am here to share my journey, how I develop a, uh, a new website or a redesigned website from a Frightful site. So first of all, let me uh, uh, introduce you to my Frightful site that is cloudmindwalkers.com. This website is about uh, the horses. So uh, they are based upon uh, um, they are they, they are located at uh, texas us and uh, they are offering uh, services like uh, horse selling and uh, uh, horsemanship training they provide and also the house horse riding so uh, this website uh, the very first look it doesn't look like a website itself it seems like any blog or a simple that page right so the sec uh, th i have gone through very uh, various te technical analysis uh, just to understand uh, uh, more about this website before proceeding to make uh, make it uh, a new one so um the the very first thing we can notice here that this website is not secure then they are not following any hierarchy while writing the text uh, they are not following any web conventions there is no any web convention that they actually the 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 basic conventions they have followed while designing this website there is no any web, web, uh, navigation uh, uh, menu that uh, user can see that what are the various services they are providing uh, or just to find even a simple contact information about them although this is available here <laughs> i mean if there is any uh, other information they 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 want to uh, you know uh, gather from this website uh, they have a huge one web page uh, and at the end of that they provide some information though but i am very much sure that uh, user will not wait until that uh, it, this website uh, is having a very uh, high bounce rate that i came to know from samrush.com one of the tool available online to check the you know the bounce rates and all that stuff so i have gone through uh, the analysis like uh, it is not at all web accessible from uh, its uh, page uh, source we can clearly see from the image tag that this website don't even use this basic alt tags uh, just to make it more uh, friendly to the disabled and the people in need so uh, like the people who are physically and mentally ill uh, cannot be able to access this website then we can see that there is lot of empty uh, blank white space uh, there are so many uh, missing images and uh, there is no any consistent uh, consistency in the sizing of the image as well uh, some of them are bigger some are smaller they have not changed everything anything in here uh, uh, before uploading that particular image online and the footer itself is required to be changed uh, uh, information is like scattered all over here and uh, this website is having a very uh, high page load time because of the so many images on the front page and I uh, they have not uh, uh, adjusted it according to the web also um, they, they are this website is not at all uh, mobile friendly so these are some the some of the technical issues that uh, are uh, that I have uh, seen in this website that is required to be fixed uh, so i have gone through uh, uh, various steps to make it a better looking website then I'm, here i'm sharing all that steps with you 
so technical analysis i have already mentioned how i have uh, gone through uh, there are so many tools available online that i have followed just to see the basic information about this website then uh, i have created some lean personas that give me a basic ideas just to um, uh, you know so that uh, i can keep uh, a particular set of people in mind while creating uh, this website that can be potential uh, potential customers of the redesigned website uh, i can give you a uh, look on the personas i have created so here is the lady shelly she is committed and uh, is is from middle class and she have an interest in trail riding she can with she can be a potential customer of this website and the second is a amanda one of my uh, peer recommended that uh, i should uh, use different genders while you know creating my personas i completely agree i will take care while working on the next website thank you and here uh, you can see that the, uh, uh, amanda she is uh, uh, a um a lady uh, that uh, uh, you know always look for the new competitions and auctions events for the horses she she also can be a potential cust uh, customer of this website and we want we have to work hard to you know make her stay on our website and click uh, click some uh, you know various uh, navigations and links right and uh, should not count as a bounce on our website so uh, the very the, the next step is to uh, uh, the, just to see the competition just to identify the competitors of the website and to discover the goals so what goals i want to achieve and the what are the competitions this website is facing so uh, i have gone through a complete list of competitors i have uh, seen the i have gone go through the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats this website is uh, potentially facing and where i can improve uh, so that uh, it counts as a strength of my website so uh, after that uh, the next step is the uh, so sorry uh, the uh, just to identify the goals so uh, i have uh, taken three kpis while uh, into consideration while uh, creating my new uh, redesign that is uh, page views i want to increase more page views then uh, email opt in option and the conversion uh, and converting users so the uh, email opt-in option that is very much visible on my new redesign website i will show show you and uh, i want uh, more page views so uh, the, these these are the few uh, uh, these are the few uh, kpis uh, i considered while designing this website you can see that i have provided a uh, subscribe button in this is this is basically my newly designed website prototype and uh, you can see that the uh, subscribe button is available there so that i can um, engage my customers to opt for the email so that they can get the auctions and other events alerts timely alerts um then the uh, then the other uh, then the next very important step is to create a web frame uh, sorry wireframes so in the wireframes uh, this is basically high fidel uh, sorry low fidelity designs uh, where we can showcase uh, uh, the placement of the elements on a web page that how uh, my uh, website will look eventually with these events sorry uh, uh, the the various elements uh, like uh, you can see that whenever there will be new event uh, the information will be here here will be the navigation bar this is the subscribe button so basically this is the very first design i have created for this website from where i have created my high fidelity prototype that i have just showed to you guys so you can see here that uh, subscribe button so uh, this is how i converted this low fidelity design to the high uh, fidelity design and it is a um, it, it, it is a very important step right so uh, you know uh, this way you uh, you can uh, uh, you can correct 
the things and you can place them you can get the proper idea uh, where, where you want to place which element so uh, after this uh, uh, we have created after signing off my uh, wireframes uh, I have created this uh, uh, prototype that is high fidelity design and uh, from here uh, you can clearly see that uh, I have used a logo here uh, you know just to make it uh, uh, you know uh, just to follow the web conventions here is a navigation uh, bar that was not available in this uh, uh, frightful site uh, the older one you can see that user you user don't have any idea what this website is offering now he can clearly see the services and ridings and if you want to book and ride he can go here he want to see the latest events that will be coming upcoming events he can go here just to contact us he can click here and fill up the form and uh, you know this way he can contact then the about us and the testimonial pages are uh, testimonials are there that he can read to see the experience of, our, uh, of the previous uh, customers uh, even they are provided on the um, you know uh, front page because uh, uh, as an initial site we want to uh, gain the confident confidence of the new uh, new, uh, new user right also th there is a footer here that uh, that is much more readable now the information is more uh, organized so this is the uh, this is the uh, new design prototype and the, um, the future of this website is that i am gonna uh, implement this uh, new design into the uh, into the full-fledged uh, uh, website uh, and uh, uh, before that i have uh, i have gone through a last step that is uh, the accessibility uh, usability uh, testing so in the usability testing what uh, i have considered three participants who have given their uh, feedback on the uh, the current prototype designing and uh, they have suggested some uh, you know improvements but the uh, overall uh, overall they find the design very straightforward and uh, not impeding any experience and uh, and they find it uh, user friendly as well so they want some improvement in the color contrast that i will definitely consider while making my final project so this is it and uh, thank you so much so this 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 was my journey uh, of converting my frightful site to the uh, newly designed site. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.